Hi, my name is Branson Braid, and I'm a systems engineer here at Iron Edge Group. Thanks for joining us for this walkthrough of the Meraki dashboard portal and a brief overview of how Meraki provides simplification of management and deployment for firewalls, switches, and wireless devices. We'll also give a brief overview of SD-WAN with Meraki. Let's jump right in. For today's overview, we're going to take advantage of Meraki's live demo online. Here, they provide a very brief overview of all the devices that you're currently managing. In the top, you'll find your networks that you currently have defined and some brief information about them. Name, usage, clients, and also the network types. For today's demo, we're going to take advantage of our live demo firewall. Once inside your network, Meraki provides a wealth of information just on this home page. From the network-wide settings, you have the options for you to monitor your clients as well as configure any settings necessary for the firewall. This home page also provides a lot of detailed information on how the firewall is set up. Your uplink will provide you information on your WAN IP address as it pertains to your WAN and perimeter security as well as easy tools available for you to troubleshoot on the go. You have the availability for you to easily reboot your device, or if you need to verify that a device is at the current site that you're checking, you can run Blink LEDs. When we talk about perimeter security, it's important to remember that a firewall is made to control ingress and egress or inbound and outbound traffic. In order to do this, Meraki allows us to control firewall settings with the click of a button. Here, we have our layer three firewall rules, controlling inbound and outbound traffic. There's one rule set just to control the access over port 25. In addition to layer three, we also have layer seven firewall rules. Layer seven controls access at the application layer. If we want to block all gaming on a network, we can easily do so by putting a layer seven firewall rule in place. We then can control exactly what kind of service we're allowing in or blocking for those users. We also have the option to prioritize this traffic if necessary. One of Meraki's main industry differentiators is their ability to easily deploy remote sites. This can be done over a site-to-site -site VPN tunnel in a full mesh topology or a hub and spoke. Their availability for rolling out these networks is key on being able to control traffic between sites. This can be done by turning VPN on and off for these local networks. Here, your sales network is turned on, meaning that the traffic is allowed to go over the VPN tunnel to your remote site. Once these sites are up and available, they can easily be viewed within your VPN status located within your security and SD-WAN monitoring. While the Meraki portal provides great insight to multiple firewalls across disparate locations, single pane of glass management for multiple network switches allows for granular control at the user endpoint. For this, we'll take a look at our demo switches. Here, we're provided a quick overview again of our switches that are available that are offline, alerting, or online. We also have the availability to see these switches over the past two hours or over the past month. While Meraki provides exceptional monitoring tools for remote systems, they also provide a simplicity for configuration. For this example, we'll look at their port scheduling options. Meraki makes it easy to shut off ports on switches that aren't needed. For some businesses, 
it's best to have ports only available during weekdays and during business hours. You can alter this to make it accessible for weekend users or just leave all ports always on. As we've been shown, Meraki provides great control over how users connect to our network, but not just our physical network, our wireless access points as well. On our dashboard page, again, we're provided devices that are offline, alerting, or currently online. For our wireless access points, we have many more devices than our switches. So the question is, how do we find what we need? We have an easy search tool, so let's search for library devices. Here, we're given our nine devices. But one of my favorite tools built into the Meraki dashboard is the ability to filter what information is readily available to you. From my list of wireless access points, I can currently see the status and connectivity, as well as the name. But if I want to add items such as device serial number and IP addresses, all I have to do is add them in the settings located here on the right. While we've taken time to talk about Meraki's extensive hardware monitoring capabilities, it's important to include their rollout of SD-WAN, or Software Defined Wide Area Networks. These settings for your firewall can be found under Security in SD-WAN and SD-WAN Traffic Shaping. Meraki SD-WAN lets you control how traffic is directed and prioritized across multiple uplinks and enables your network to immediately and intelligently adapt to changing performance conditions. Under SD-WAN policies, you have the option to control traffic based on VPN traffic or custom performance classes. Under VPN traffic, there are presets already provided by Meraki for easy deployment of filters. Again, we're gonna take advantage of the gaming filter and use some of the presets in order for us to prioritize traffic based on the system that we're using. Here, Meraki gives us the preference for us to choose an uplink based on our internet service provider. As well, we can choose when the link chooses to fail over based on performance or if the uplink fails. You can also create performance classes. Policies can also be built based on specific custom performance class requirements. These requirements can be based on application needs or services such as voice over IP or video conferencing. Services experiencing limits on jitter or noise over their network link can utilize Meraki SD-WAN to ensure that services such as VoIP have the throughput and optimization that they need. Again, we're not gonna save any of our configuration. Instead, we're gonna go back to where we started, our Meraki dashboard home screen. We're gonna do so under networks by going to view all networks. This is gonna take us back to our geographical view of where all of our devices within our Meraki dashboard are located. In the top, I want to point out that this is a live demo that there are more sections that we can go more in depth on. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to Iron Edge Group. Again, this is Branson Braid, and thanks for joining us this afternoon.